Hi everyone, this Fantasy School is here. This is uh, a puzzle that I call the Abyss, which is based on the uh, four dimensional symmetry of the hypercube. As you can see, it's very strong design, it's very um, uh, sturdy design. And um, the goal is to interchange the yellow, which represents the sun rays, to the black, which is uh, the um, uh, it represents the black hole, so I have to make uh, make it such that the black is the inside cube and the yellow is the outside cube. So I'm going to show you how it moves. So you're going to move this one this way. So I'm going to just move this one outside, as you can see. So the cube is coming outside. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm minimizing this one's here and also this one's here so the, the yellow cube can be much more clear at the outside. Okay? Also make this one smaller because the black cube is supposed to become smaller. Then I increase the yellow one. Okay? Now the next move is to move this one inside to increase those red ones at the moment. Okay? And then move this ones inside. So we are moving now this ones inside. So this one comes inside now. So as you can see now we have something in between. Half the parts, okay, is black, the yellow, and in the middle there is red. If you continue this way, this will become the yellow outside cube, and this will become the black inside cube. If you go this way, or this way, or this way, or any other way except uh, those two ways, we will end up with the same pattern, like a black, yellow in the middle, red. So, I'll continue one more time, so this is going to go like this, like this, so I'm just moving the cube outside, then I minimize those here, the black cube eventually becomes a small cube, which is what the initial goal was, and then the last thing is we need to increase those yellow ones. After, after we do this, we move everything inside. And of course the red ones are supposed to become smaller as well. The red ones always connect the yellow and the black cube, regardless which one is internal or external. So the last part is moving this one here, and this one here, and this one here, and this one here. So we can see now that I just need a small adjust adjustment. So it just requires a little bit of uh, adjustment. Those, uh, um, this structure is quite strong. It uh, is based on some sort of uh, um, um, connection, double connection idea that I had. And uh, it's uh, quite robust, as you can see. It doesn't break easy. And it's very flexible, strong and stable, so it can actually have the shape of uh, a harpy cube eventually. So this one here, and this one here, this one here, this one here. 
this one here. Just some small adjustments here as well. Is, well, the last part is just to adjust. So the black cube now is inside the yellow one. And this has to increase as well. And then we have the abyss. Thank you for watching this video.